Hello there. I'm Ozzy Robin. I'm English Jen. And welcome to our Halloween special Ooh. chocolates, <laughs> sweets, candy, <laughs> taste, <laughs> taste trial. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we thought, we were actually talking about, oh, we're not going to be doing that much for this Halloween this year. It's 2020. Um, so we thought, what could we do that's going to make it sort of like run, the run up fun? And both of us started talking about things we've tried or not tried in regards of snacks from overseas, especially America. And actually I realized I haven't actually tried that many big brands or like common. Yeah, I mean, I lived in America for a little bit and I tried some of this stuff a long time ago, but it's it's been a while. So um, yeah, it's gonna be uh, interesting to try and taste some of these again. So we reached out to uh, friends um, from the US especially um, and asked uh, what would they advise a first timer like ourselves, um, trying uh, if we were going to go around trick or treating. Um, and yeah, they came back with a quite large list. So we headed into central London um, on a very busy Saturday afternoon. And yeah. it was, yeah, it was really scary, kind of busy, like Christmas time busy. No masks? Yeah. Uh, there was some, there was some. like half, yeah. Um, and yeah, because we knew that was where, the, in London, the central hub of imported sweets is generally Oxford Street. It's kind of bizarre that there are so many stores that sell the American sweets. I guess they all look kind of the same, so I think they're all owned by pretty much the same people. I suspect that was the case. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of chains that you can order online. Uh, but we thought we'd rather just actually see the sweets physically so we knew what we were getting size-wise. Uh, prices, yeah, they were high. <laughs> yeah. uh, I would probably sort of say to uh, anybody who's got friends in America, beg them to maybe send them over because for the price you pay in these shops, you could actually pay for an armed guard to come over personally and hand them to you over the front door. An example is they had cereal boxes in there and they're like £12 each for a cereal box. Yeah. Um, Which Twinkies. I think is about $16 for one box of cereal. Twinkies were about $17. Nine, nine quid. No, they were 12 as well. Oh, Twinkies were £12. Pounds I think. Well. Yeah, remember? Um, and then a lot of them were sort of like larger, like sort of share packs. So they were generally about three ninety nine, four ninety nine. dollars yeah. Sometimes five ninety nine, dollars depending on the shop you went in. Um, we didn't stick around too long. We were in and out as quickly as possible um, because it's quite loud and obnoxious in the shops so we just wanted to get the sweets and run uh, but yeah it was successful I'd say yeah I would probably sort of advise people if you're going to do this on a regular basis and buy imported sweets maybe do one of the subscriptions uh, we didn't have time to do that ourselves so uh, yeah that might be something we do in the future to try some different things yeah uh, from other parts of the world uh, but yeah so shall we uh, make a start let's do it before we get started, um, shall we just explain what we do around Halloween? Generally, we like to make it look a little bit festive. So yeah, we've got our little um, jack-o'-lantern and autumnal maple leaves. If you ever want to know what father and son look like, Darth Vader and Luke in um, autumn, walking through a park, there you go. Uh, so yeah, we just, we don't go overboard because we don't have much room. So first up we've got, um, Brax Autumn Mix, which basically we wanted some candy corn, but they do some themed um, candy corns, uh, which is like a collection of all the different ones. And these ones in particular have candy corns and some sort of autumnal corn and a pumpkin. So this is only one I've heard in the last few years. I haven't really heard about uh, candy corn being a thing until the last couple of years on YouTube. Not in but the I guess, UK. I guess no. it's been a famous thing that supposedly doesn't taste very nice. I've heard the mixture. I mean, for some people, it's essential. Um, Disney always seemed to go for that kind of candy corn design. Oh, oh okay. What does it taste like? Chalk. <laughs> um, no, it's not chalk. It, it's um, quite. It's actually dry than chalk. Crumbles. Hmm. I feel like it's English equivalent with sweets. Yeah. I just quite like it. <laughs> Let's try the actual candy corn itself. 
It's like a marzipan kind of thing. Yeah, um, I would say the same thing. It's kind of like a definitely reminds me of marzipan. I don't know what. That was about <laughs> Norwood, I know. Yeah, I was, I was kind of I was expecting taste difference maybe between the different types. Yeah, but basically it's the same junk. Yeah, fashioned into different shapes. Yeah, that wasn't yeah, bad. It wasn't bad. I, I wouldn't say no to that yeah. if it was offered me as as a child wandering the streets, knocking on people's doors. Uh, so next up, uh, this is actually the only one I've ever had before. Um, it's Hershey's. It's Hershey's Kisses. Hershey's in the UK has kind of been a reputation for being the poorer cousin of Capra's. <laughs> it's quite nasty. Um, I actually quite liked it by the time I finished the bag when I had it like a few years ago. Little kisses. And who doesn't want a little kiss? Can I have Thank you. Pretty much as I remember it, it's kind of very soapy. Yeah, just lower quality chocolate. I wouldn't say no to it if it was offered me, but. For me, it's always the type of thing that people bring back when they fly overseas and they bring it back as a, just a thing to put in the office when uh, you know people have been overseas. Yeah, like a Toblerone. Um, yeah, but it's. It's October okay, October. but it's a bit, yeah, a bit kind of waxy, soapy. Syrupy. Uh, yeah. There's something really sweet about it. Um, nice, nice enough. It was fine. Yeah, fine. So what is this? Oh, nutter butter. <laughs> nutter butter. And who doesn't like a little bit of nutter butter? <laughs> nutter, for, nutter for a nutter. Nutter for a nutter and butter for... Anyway. Um, I've, I've heard of them before. I don't know much about them. I didn't even know they were kind of like a biscuit. I'm assuming it is a biscuit for looking at the packet. Four cookies, it says. Cookies. It's a biscuit. So it's literally so it like, like monkey nuts. Yeah. Ah. With a weird looking cream inside. I'm guessing that it would be a like a peanut. I can taste the nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's very kind of nut nutty, yeah. I taste, yeah, a lot of nut. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> not something I would go for again. No, it's not even something I would dip in a cup of tea or... Yeah. I think we need a load of water by the end of it. Twinkies! They say that only three things will survive nuclear war. That's Cher, cockroaches, and Twinkies. So I think I tried Twinkies once when I lived in America, and I wasn't that impressed by it. My impression of it is that it's like really fake, dodgy cream inside very, sponge. Very, very processed. Yeah. I've had it once. Um, a guy who I used to work with used to bring them back from America, but the plain ones. And we saw these because they're uh, what, what flavour are they? They do like jumbo donuts. Quite, they actually look, look, look a lot better. <laughs> well, it's the same stuff. Thanks said that though. Yeah, it's fashioned into a ring. They're going to be really <laughs> high processed as well. Uh, this one's a fudge, is it? This one's fudge covered Twinkies. <laughs> fudge covered Twinkies. Um, you get eight individually wrapped, eight individually wrapped fudge covered Twinkies. Bargain at twelve pounds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Smell it as soon as I open it. Hold on. Hold on. The chocolate. Hold on. I think the chocolate may be too much to be honest on these. Making a mess. Um, yeah. I've got a very sweet tooth. The chocolate's not very nice. The chocolate's. Yeah. And then the Twinkie is. Um, not to keep it all in. <laughs> Very dry, I'd say. Mm. Mm. And then the cream is quite, there's not much cream. Um, mine's got a bit more cream, but it's not. Yeah, that's fine. Wow, that's a. Not hugely impressed by that. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Um, well, we're going to get value for money with those ones because they're going to last an awful long time. <laughs> okay, let's uh, change it up a bit. So nerds. <coughs> nerds. We have these in Australia, so this this isn't really a, a thing for me, I guess. Well, I've never had them. I've seen them at airports and I've seen them, like I say, in New York. Nerds. And that is watermelon, apple, watermelon, apple, and then cherry lemonade. So I think it's where you combine and they change and you I thought they were going to be more pill-like. As you can see, 
lemon, cherry lemonade and watermelon apple. Alright, do you want to... Uh, oh dear. Oh. 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 Just took a good candy. Really? <laughs> Over to your... Uh, It reminds me of refreshers. Right. That thing where it hits, hits your eyes. Nice. Very, oh. That's a taste that's not going away anytime soon. Um, yeah, it's um, very citrusy, packs a punch. It's not yeah. hot or anything like that. I was expecting to be maybe, no, a bit of hot. But, no, it's all right. The, yeah. the, for a, yeah, the very kind of sugary, yeah, very sugary sweet. Mm. It's very sugary. It's yeah. a citrus bang in your mouth. In your mouth. I didn't really get a bang. To be honest. Oh, I do. I think. But yeah, I think for me, it reacts. I, I react to that. And and now I've got like a fragrance going through my nose. <laughs> it's like gone. It's like it's gone to the roof of my mouth, and it's kind of going round and round and round. It's Reese's outrageous. It's because it's outrageous. <laughs> I don't know what makes it outrageous. It looks like it's just like a bar which also has lots of candy inside it. Um, let's crack it open. Crack it open. <laughs> okay, so it's like a one for you, one for me. Reminds me a bit of um, Adam and Peanut. It is, I mean, I've had Reese's Pieces before and it tastes just like that, but with Smarties in. I'm not a big fan of peanuts and chocolate though, so, but it was all right. I will say by this point, we're what? So many bars in, and I think we're going to be slipping into a, into a candy coma later on. Um, if we I haven't, I haven't had anything so far that makes me think, wow, I want to have that again sometime soon. Um, no. Uh, so this is a Mrs. Fresh, Fresh, Freshly's. Snowballs. Um, so looking at the front, it looks like it's, well, I, I thought it was like coconut looking at that. It looks like a kind of coconutty covered treat, but according to the picture on the front, it's chocolate and marshmallow. <laughs> it's got the soggy bottom. Oh no. Uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> so, do you want it up there? Yeah. Yeah. It cuts nice. It doesn't look nice. <laughs> looks like a chocolate sponge with just a, like a marshmallow outer. It's weird, it's light and fluffy looking, but then... <laughs> Very cakey. What's the outside? Is it coconut? It's marshmallow. It's marshmallow with coconut on top, yeah. Ah. And chocolate cake inside. Like a pro like a highly processed lo loads of preservatives, chocolate cake. That's not really very nice. It's no. Um, considering the size of one of them. And maybe it's the sugar talking right now, but <laughs> that's a weird one. Yeah. Please pop in the comments below if you have like favourites yourself and anything we haven't tried, or if you have thoughts on things that we are trying. Um, because I'd be interested to know the appeal of some of these, or the reach it has, or the maybe the history it has, or you may have a fondness for it because of something from your childhood. Next up, uh, we've got Warheads Cubes. These are sweet and sour and fruity. So I'm guessing they're gonna have a bit of a chewy candy. So I'm guessing, they, with the name Warheads, I'm guessing with Warheads, they maybe pack a punch. Right there. Yeah. Um, so I'll go for a pink one. I'll go for a blue. Oh, okay. That's not that bad. Oh. I'm getting sour. Well, pink is watermelon. Oh. And yours are blue raspberry. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's raspberry. I guess these are the mild ones then? Yeah, they're quite nice. Really? Nice jelly sweets. It's got taste, but I think they're quite strong taste. Not like as in hot or anything like that, but just 
No, I didn't want hot though. Quite citrusy. You don't really want hot in your uh, sweets that you consume, are you? No, but um, kind of that, uh, like similar to the, the the nerds, it's got that kind of like, oh, hits right. you in the eyeballs. Nice. It's nice, unusual. It's nice, unusual. unusual. I couldn't work, I don't think I could eat a whole packet of them. I, I couldn't sort of, not in one go, no. I want two goes, maybe. This is actually quite a famous one in my memory of American kind of candy or sweets. Americana. That you encounter in films and stuff, which is where I get we, we get our information from, I guess. Nutrition facts. There is none. <laughs> Very soft fudge. Um, try oh no. This is meant for one person. It's like a nasty fudge. Is this sort of thing that they have when, when Americans go to the cinema? Do you have this when you go to the cinema? I, I, or movies? Yeah, that tastes like cheap, nasty. It's like coffee flavoured or something, is it? No idea, but it's got like a horrible aftertaste. <laughs> well, that's a hard one to eat. I'm, I'm struggling with that one. I think it's fudge. Yeah, but I like fudge. I think it might be the kind of caffeine -y taste. I like coffee, but oh, that's going to linger. <laughs> is there anything you would compare that to? Bottom no, I, I've had something like that before. I feel like it's like, you know when you get those Christmas sweets and they're like individually wrapped? Like an eclair or something, but it's, 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 it's got, yeah, like, um... You never see eclairs these days, do you? Oh, no, because usually I eat them before we... <laughs> no, like the little sweet eclairs and wrapped Yeah, yeah, I get them every year, for Christmas. And I usually end up with stomach ache because... <laughs> um, no, I, 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 no, I start not giving me anything. Yeah, I start on one, then I don't stop. Yeah, that wasn't nice at all. Just, yeah. Next aftertaste. Not a Swedish chef, but a Swedish Swedish chef. <laughs> chef? Fish. <laughs> so. Well, to me, it just looks like a, a jellyfish. Yeah, uh, that's my first impression. Jellyed fish. What makes them Swedish? I don't know, but I feel like <laughs> you're going to tell me. The accent? <laughs> so, yeah, it's like a giant sweet. Let's see. For you, sir. A bit like the warhead, but without any taste. Well, it's got some taste. It's like a... It's like my old raspberry taste, isn't it? Yeah, it's a... Raspberries. Raspberries? That's no, like... something I would eat in, a, in, a, in the movies. The right going... It's nothing dramatic. It's just kind of mild sweet. Totally sweet. Yeah, it's alright, not offensive. Um, maybe a bit more variety might have been needed. <laughs> Thumbs up to the Swedish fish for everyday sweets, I'd say. Three Musketeers. Um, I don't see any swords or hats. <laughs> I feel like a Three Musketeers is a famous one. Is that the one from Goonies, no? No, that's coming up. Three Musketeers, you just made my day. Is a slogan. Slogan, okay. I think someone sat on this one. The outside chocolate's very, yeah. That's our version of a Milky Way, isn't it? It feels like a big Milky Way, but heavier. Yeah, slightly heavier, yeah. Ours is more aerated. This one lingers in your mouth and it more sticks to room. Heavy after effect of chocolate taste, yeah. Cheap chocolate taste. Yeah, not the nicest. Sorry, Musketeers, I won't be joining you for, for a fall. That was a big thing for um, Milky, Ways. Milky Ways at one stage. I, yeah. yeah, I still enjoy Milky Way every now and again. I haven't had one in years, I don't think. I vaguely remember when The Simpsons first started, they used to, I'm sure they had Bart Simpson doing what a finger adverts. I don't know, maybe I'm going crazy. Um, going? <laughs> Gone. Bart, I'm gonna open my mouth and close my eyes and you're gonna give me a big surprise. <laughs> Crispity, crunchity, peanut buttery butterfinger. Crispy, crunch, crispity. Not crispy, crispy tea, crunch tea, peanut buttery. They like their peanuts in the US. Is this like a crunchy bar? No. Or a little wafer at home. It's like a really hard Reese's Pieces. All I'm getting is, yeah, like peanut chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, and a wafer. Not what I expected to be in regards to texture. Because they're calling it Butterfinger, so you still expect some sort of butter, buttery taste. Oh no, I'm getting, I am getting like a butter taste. I've got that kind of salty peanut. But it's very dominated by nuts. 
chocolate isn't as offensive as maybe the last one, Musketeers. No. Um, and it may be the endless amount of sweets we've had at this point, but I'm starting to feel a little bit woozy, a little bit sick. But no, it, it's all right. It's okay. I don't think I'd sit there and chomp down a whole bar of it. Well, we've got a whole bar of it to finish. <laughs> Next up is Mike and Ike. Mike and Ike. Um, I'm assuming Mike and Ike are a brand. Uh, chewy, tropical fruit flavored candy. So I'm guessing like a sort of a, a semi-hard candy. But I don't know if it's like a chewy semi hard, yeah. Semi hard. Um, go with your nut butter. <laughs> uh, okay, so like it's in pill format. Looks like a suppository. <laughs> okay, not, I thought they were going to be harder. It's a jelly bean basically, but there's more flavour. Oh, okay. There we go. The juice is released. You're not getting much at all, are you? <laughs> oh, alright. Yeah. Again, jelly bean. I thought it was going to be more like a, a Tic Tac or um, I thought it was chewing gum, to be honest. So we had Caribbean Punch, I had Caribbean Punch and Mango. Oh, the mango was quite nice. I've got, I had the blue one. Caribbean Punch. That was nice. And the red one. Strawberry banana. I'm getting strawberry. I'm getting banana. What a coincidence. Um, they're all right. They're all right. Oh, they're, they're all right. They're quite nice. They're right, yeah. They remind me of um, the jelly bean, like literally the brand jelly beans. Yeah. But probably cheaper than the jelly beans. <laughs> Unless you buy it in this country. Unless you buy it in this country where you have to take a mortgage out. And on we go. <laughs> I know we said this was a challenge. Um, but I want to curl up in a ball. <laughs> I, I feel I, I never thought as an adult, if you told me as a child, you can eat all the American candy you like. I mean, like, yay! <laughs> now I feel sick. <laughs> Um, this is one I actually, I know, recognise very well because it's one of my favourite films mentions it and that's Baby Ruth! Mama, <laughs> <laughs> talk to you, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Baby Ruth? <laughs> Baby Ruth, um, or Ursula. I remember as a kid watching that film and then being obsessed with what is what is this baby Ruth he talks about and then seeing it in the film and watching it again and then trying to work out if we actually sold it over here and we didn't. So this is actually my first time in 46 years of me being alive and on this planet of trying an actual baby Ruth. You never tried it at any point in time? I've never, what, no, when, 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 yeah. <laughs> You've been to America loads. I've been a few, only a handful of times. Um, but yeah, I've never had the opportunity, shall we say, or I've never, there's always been something else I've bought instead to eat, and etc. Yeah, I can smell uh, like a dry roasted peanut. So I would say, yeah, dry roasted peanut, nougat, and maybe a bit of caramel. All right. I'm tasting nougat. I taste nuts, got nuts. Nuts, but actually rather than being tasting of nuts, it actually, you can feel the nuts. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can get the texture of nuts. Whereas other ones, it's more like a peanut flavour. This is actually crunchy. We've had quite a lot of peanut stuff, so, but that one is the one that sticks out to me as the nicest so far. Yeah. That's one I could eat a whole bar of. Yeah. I, even the thought of eating not a right whole now, bar of anything. Not right now. <laughs> yeah. Even the, the thought of eating a whole bar of anything at the moment makes me physically sick. Yeah, the baby room. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, it lives up to its um, history, I guess. Moon pie. Again, I've heard the, I've heard the name being referenced. I guess from some film I must have heard it, but I don't remember which film. It was. Isn't Sheldon called Moon Pie by his grandma? I don't know why. But that sticks my, uh, something to do with Big Bang Theory or no idea. Some program. Um, moon pie. I have no idea what to expect. I'm guessing some sort of sandwichy, maybe marshmallow. We've purposely not looked at the ingredients on these. We know they're not going to be reaching our five a day. That's for sure. No. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Feels okay. Um, 
This is a strange texture. Oh, that's weird. It's got a weird texture. What's the texture? <laughs> like wax. Almost like a coffee kind of caffeine. Mm. How can something be so dry and moist at the same time? <laughs> I'm not getting moist. I'm going with I think it was a sandwich bit. It looks like it should be a lemon dessert with the moon being lemon on the on the packet, but it's got like a Madeira kind of smell to it. Like a I won't say vanilla. It's very black. It's not it's not flavoursome. It's not exactly good, like it's not exactly bursting with flavour. But the textures are really strange. That's not something I would revisit. Americans really like their marshmallow and peanuts. I can't imagine anybody giving this out, but someone said to try it. We've never had it Well, before. no, this is the one that I really wanted to try just because it's such an American thing for me in the TV shows. I feel like I see people like get like a box of Lucky Charms. Are you doing, are you doing the accent? <laughs> they get like a box of Lucky Charms and um, just like open it without putting milk in or cereal, like a proper cereal, you just kind of eat it out of the box. Go so that's do, what we're gonna do. Go on, do the accent. What accent? You'll never get my lucky charms. <laughs> um, so Paul, who is an Irishman out there, really, really sorry about that one. I'm assuming that's his little hat. When he's finding that gold. Ooh. <laughs> That's less a cereal, more just like pure sugar. Well, that's because you only ate the sugar bit. No, but there's, it's like a, eat the whole bunch of them. So the actual cereal, like the cereal part of it, is like, um, like a Cheerios, wheat, like a, wheat, like a, yeah. a sweeter version of Cheerios. Yeah, like a wheat thing. But then the, the shapes, they're like, just like a pure sugar. Yeah, like it's super sweet, like, even like a, grain, me, like a grainy kind of chalky. I have, a, I have a sweet tooth and that is like, oh my God, if I had that in the morning, I'd be burning out by about 10 a.m. I'd be like, <laughs> excuse me boss, I'm in a coma. <laughs> it's like kids all over Frost, America. Frosted toasted oat cereal with marshmallows. They're marshmallows? Yeah, that's, it's like a, a dried. I need one of the... Uh, Yeah, it's not saying everyone again. After this Even month. with milk, I don't. A strange one for a breakfast cereal. Yeah. We've saved what we think might be the biggest aftertaste and <laughs> yeah. reaction. Um, so we're going to go for... Oh no. <laughs> the original Red Hots. Never heard of them, but two people actually mentioned these. So um, yeah, who said they should try them. Um, cinnamon flavored candy. You don't like cinnamon. I'm not huge. Fan. I like cinnamon on like. I like it coating. I like it on like or. donuts, cinnamon donuts. That makes sense, but this doesn't make sense. So this is a hard candy, um, quite a large box, but I think this is about four or five quid. I dread to think how little it costs. Which is pounds for those Americans. Pounds. GBP. Well, it's a good sign that I'm not getting a, a like a waft of fragrance from it. Oh no, I can smell the cinnamon right there. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. You go first. I'll go first. I, I, yeah, I'll go first. Oh look, it's like an innocent little M&M. &M. You can have more than one. <laughs> Eat it. Eat it. Swallow. Oh my god! <laughs> it burned my mouth! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, don't be so dramatic. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe you just spat it out. Oh god! No, that's real. <laughs> oh, my tongue's stinging! No. Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> so, yeah, 
Red Hots <laughs> to give to those that you hate the most. <laughs> That's that was a waste of four quid, wasn't it? <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> My tongue's gone. It's <laughs> done. Um, yeah, that's, that's definitely... I, <laughs> <coughs> um, yeah, interesting effect. I'm not sure what pleasure anybody would get out of eating those. <laughs> um, yeah, they're um, different. <laughs> Why would you make these? Um, I, I think I would have been scarred for life. <laughs> I feel like I feel like this. There's another one that's called something different, but it's the same, basically the same thing. I think it, uh, it's like weird. a softer one. Well, it's just the heat crossed with cinnamon is really bizarre. Um, yeah, it's making my nose run, making my eyes water, um, and my tongue is slowly settling down now. That was a weird one. A good one to finish on because it's blasted any flavour or aftertaste we had from peanuts, nougat, chocolate, cheap chocolate, waxy chocolate, marshmallow, <laughs> watermelon, apple, lemonade, cherry, whatever. Yeah. It's all been blasted <laughs> by that in one fell swoop. Just it's gone. Yeah. So it's, it's worked in that respect. If you want a palate cleanser <laughs> or something that's going to clean your toilet bowl, <laughs> Stick that in your mouth. Um, yeah, that, that was quite, that was more of a challenge than I thought it would be. That's, yeah, that's a challenge done. Um, How did you feel about them? Someone who's, as someone who's got a sweet tooth, you know I have a sweet tooth. You do? I do. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot easier to make my way, you know, we knew we were going to just try bits and bobs. I didn't enjoy as many of them as I thought I would. No. Um, and not because we've had things on top of each other just generally it's the flavors weren't as as great or what well, well, I find <laughs> what I did actually like was the candy corn which everyone seems to kind of rag on rag. so I quite like <laughs> <laughs> put down put down. Um, so I quite like the candy corn and yeah. then for me it was the jelly sweets like the fruity jelly sweets yeah um, those are the, the ones that I kind of thought I'd have again the Mike and Ike actually are quite like yes the Mike and Ike um, and I also liked Baby Roof, that was a winner for me. That's fine, yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of them, whew, cheap, nasty kind of taste, aftertaste. A lot of, a lot of nutty stuff going on there. A lot of nuts. A lot mm. of butter, a lot of nuts. A lot of nut butter. <laughs> Which is weird, because nut for me is like, it's not really a, a sweet thing, it's like more of a savoury. What? You okay? <laughs> Keep a straight face. Uh, yeah, um, I'm not a huge fan of nuts and chocolate, but some of them, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, 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 they're all right. Um, but uh, yeah, I think overall it was a bigger challenge than I thought it would be. Like uh, to the point where I was getting sweats, <laughs> and then just to finish off with the cinnamon hot shots, it blasted everything else into a distant memory. So this is coming to the end of our Halloween chocolate challenge, tasting sweets, <laughs> challenge. candy challenge, challenge, and it was a challenge. Um, both feeling quite queasy, I'd say. Yeah, we've had drinks of water in between, um, but that's had little to no effect. Uh, but a fun challenge nonetheless. We'll probably slip into a sugar-based coma yeah. uh, this evening, and uh, but no, it's worth trying. If you've got any ideas of things you'd like to see us try that you like or um, places around the world you'd like us to try like Japan maybe or Canada etc um, or indeed if you want us to do more challenges or if you have any ideas you want to pass to us about places to go and visit in London do in London um, that's, that's all we can go to so we're far. slowly starting to venture out now and we've got some more stuff coming up in the next few weeks uh, which is very much London based um, thank you to the American candy industry for providing its overpriced sweets and uh, chocolates today. Um, like I say, let us know in our messages down below, comments, and then we're also on Twitter as Robbo and Gent, and also um, Aussie Robbo and English Gent and the English Gent on Instagram as well. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm English Gent, Aussie Robbo, and that's all from us today. Bye. Bye.
enter the... How'd you get into it? Isn't there an exact system? What are you doing? <laughs> well, I made a mess of that. <laughs> I can't get it open. Oh. Twinkle or tweet. Twinkle or tweet. Where's that from? Twinkle or tweet. Uh, it's from Batman Returns. Jim Carrey, the Riddler. Twinkle or tweet. When they go up to the... Batman Returns is Michelle Pfeiffer and Penguin. Not, no, not Batman Returns. Batman Forever. It's uh, Harvey Dent and the Two Face and Riddler go up. Okay, I'm moving past that. I'm over it. Twig or tweet! Not the baby roof! Baby roof! Yeah, how'd you get into it? <laughs> it's like. My stomach is going. <laughs> 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 <laughs>